glorify God. And that proselytism thrums below the surface of the Fulton Street restaurant, which has the ersatz homespun ambiance of a mega church. <laughs> Okay, let's talk. Joining me today is Ben Kissel, uh, radio host and liberal political commentator. Ernest Owens, who is an LB, uh, LBGTQ editor for the Philadelphia Magazine. And John Phillips, talk radio host and conservative political commentator. Welcome to all of you. Thanks, um, Carol. Ernest, <laughs> um, Ernest, I, I want to start with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Chick-fil-A, <laughs> why the hate? Um, well, for me personally, as an openly gay man, um, you know, I don't want to be complicit in organizations or companies that have shown views that discriminate. You know, I think Chick-fil-A had made it clear six years ago where they stand on LGBTQ issues, and I believe that anyone who is in solidarity with the LGBTQ community believe that we are deserving of human rights across the board, which we don't have nationwide or statewide in places like Pennsylvania um, and across the country. We don't have the Equality Act passed um, until we get all of our rights um, and have the equity as our heterosexual brother and sisters. Um, any organization that supports our condemnation doesn't deserve our coins, our support, or our patronage. So that is why we continue to boycott uh, Chick-fil-A. And I think and, that and I under, um, I do seeing that tweet, understand. Uh, yeah where you're coming from but but John to me Chick-fil-A is different than than you know the baker who refuses to bake a cake for for the people who are having a gay wedding um, Chick-fil-A mm. isn't discriminating in its business practices that's right and people are free to spend their money however it is they want to spend their money when right. it comes to me personally I don't hold someone's politics against them even if I disagree with them uh, very much so. Uh, let's just look at what people do when they put gasoline in their cars. If you think Chick-fil-A has horrible policies towards uh, gays and lesbians, what do you think the Saudi Arabians think when you go fill up at the pump? So th you do, uh, for me, I find a way to disassociate someone's politics from my business interactions with them. I have to do it as a Republican in Hollywood with entertainment. I mean, look at, at Jane Fonda. I dislike what she did in Vietnam, but I watch Grace and Frankie because it's funny. <laughs> uh, ben, yeah. I, I want to play a bit of what Ben Shapiro, he's a firebrand conservative, right? Uh -huh. He's very angry about this issue, very angry. So okay. I'm going to play a bit about what he said on his YouTube show, and then I'd oh. like you to comment after. Here it is. Sure. This month, you mustn't, we're going to fast from all of the Christian-owned companies during gay Ramadan gay pride month no one no one must ever shop from chick-fil-a a company that has never discriminated against homosexuals in any way but whose owners are against same-sex marriage anybody who shops at chick-fil-a is violating the precepts of gay pride month because the gay pride jihadis are going to come after you and insist that you do repentance repentance mm -hmm. Repent. right so obviously Ben Shapiro, he's being very hyperbolic and everyone on every side seems to be more hyperbolic on a daily basis. I want to tell you a little bit about, about my personal experience. My parents are evangelical Christians and both of my older brothers are gay. So I understand the anger and the pain um, coming from both sides of this issue. My parents did not go to my brother's wedding. Uh, they protested, caused a ripple in the family and certainly a lot of emotion that went through, uh, that went uh, with that. And obviously even Evangelical Christians have a right to believe whatever they want to believe. Uh, however you get through this life is up to you as long as you don't infringe on other people's rights. And now that gay marriage is passed, uh, that infringement no longer exists, at least in that regard. I do want to point out, however, this notion uh, that the gay community is monolithic. It absolutely is not. And I did my own case study uh, with my family this morning. I asked my brothers what, uh, and uh, my brother-in-law, Don, what they thought about Chick-fil-A. My oldest brother said he does not uh, go there because he doesn't like their policies although he does agree it's the best chicken sandwich uh, so he really is sticking to his guns there and uh, my brother-in-law Don says hey go wherever you want you have the right to shop wherever you want you have the right uh, to, to purchase whatever kind of food you want uh, don't inhibit yourself because of your orientation and then my middle brother uh, we, we ended up discussing factory farming which is a whole nother conversation that oh we can get gosh. into <laughs> I feel for you Ben I do that's a complicated family oh, it's a lovely family okay. it's, a, it's good <laughs> Ernest I do want to cool I do want to ask you this question because the, the guy who wrote the, the article for the New Yorker takes it one step farther. He says Chick-fil-A's mission is to evangelize through its restaurants. I don't really get that, Ernest. 
Well, I think this is the problem when you have, you know, a situation where mostly straight people are trying to assess and discuss LGBTQ issues coming with anecdotes about family members and not actually having LGBTQ people the opportunity to really to speak up in these situations. I mean, I'm happy to be on this show to be able to talk, but it's important to understand that, you know, as much as allies and those people who align themselves with supporting LGBTQ causes can be empathetic, no one understands the feeling of going into an institution um, like a Chick-fil-A and knowing that its leadership and those up top um, do not see you as worthy of having the same rights as someone else. It's, it's, it's representational, right? I mean, you don't have to necessarily verbatim discriminate, but if you hold views like that and it shows throughout your institution, it shows in the fact that they're closed on Sundays. It shows in the fact that they have really pushed a very strong religious um, front in the way that they have the Christian toys that they serve, the fact that they're getting closed on Sunday, the fact that they have religious biblical references in their mission statement, it's very clear that this this type of belief system is put in their entire business. And look, some people may want to go to Chick-fil-A, but I think that it, it, it's and, and in this country, there are those who are on the margins who have the right to really express their disinterest and tell others to follow suit if they want to support this. You know, being right. both black and gay, I, I've seen companies show yeah. racist views, and I feel like even if they don't discriminate directly on someone's race, I still have to affirm um, my, my comrades in saying that this is not Mm -hmm. a way that we put our dollars in. This Carol. is not I, I, the place I, to support. Absolutely. And, and I think that we have to do that. Wait, wait John, can, John. Uh -huh. Can I respond to the evangelizing uh, point there? Yes. Uh, the only biblical experience sure. I ever have at Chick-fil-A is gluttony. John, John. Yes, that's a good point. And I, and I do want to point out again, uh, you know, obviously the Supreme Court has made money speech. And uh, I understand every time you purchase something, theoretically that is a vote in the capitalist society that we live in. I also do want to push back Correct. a little bit to what your guest said when it comes to my ability to be empathetic towards the gay, uh, gay community. When you grow up with two gay older brothers in a Catholic school and they both leave uh, and everyone knows that experience, it does trickle down. So I do want to push back a little bit to that notion that because Yeah, but it doesn't uh, trickle sort of down the same way as that individual experience. Well, you don't know my you life have the luxury though, to go so. to Chick-fil-A. Yes, you have the that, luxury to go yes, to Chick-fil-A so and feel the, the way that you want to feel. I actually don't but go to Chick-fil-A. But. but I choose not to because I understand that those those views will impact my life directly as an open gay man. Right. It exactly. will not impact you the same way. I well, mean, that's it, a fact. It's just interesting. There's there's In N Out Burger in California, right? And and they have right. Bible verses on the bottoms of their mm -hmm. cups, right? And nobody complains right. about that. Nobody does. In and Out Burger is very popular in the state of California. I, so what's oh yeah. the difference? Well, I is think it just it's because partially because their views don't cross over into rhetoric that is anti-LGBTQ or racist or bigoted. And I think that people can hold. Let's be clear. Just because you're religious, don't automatically mean that you're homophobic. But some people have taken their religiosity and has pushed that into homophobia, homo, homophobia and bigotry. And I think that's the problem here with Chick Fil A. They well, can have think, every right to celebrate their religion, but to translate that into anti-LGBTQ business practices or viewpoints, mm -hmm. I think that's the problem we have here. You, I think you're making a jump that isn't necessarily there. Just because you're opposed to, to gay marriage wow. or, or marriage equality does not necessarily mean that you're homophobic or a bigot. I mean, that's the political point of no, view. No, that's that homophobic. Why would it not? Hold on. Well, let me clarify. If you don't believe, what is, behind, what is behind not wanting two LGBTQ people to be married outside the fact that you do not have an interest in seeing them as human? How is that not homophobic? If you are Was not Barack supportive of same-sex marriage, that is a form of homophobia. Was Barack Obama homophobic pre-2012? Yes, that was a form of homophobia. Yes, you Hillary thought that Clinton, because you referenced she a black president that that yes, Hillary Clinton was when she had those viewpoints. Okay. You right. think I mean, referencing a black did you president say that at the time? and a woman is going to change my perspective on this issue? And did that is why yes, he was a bigot at the time. People have practiced forms of, of homophobia. I, I can believe And yes, agree. and they corrected those viewpoints. They evolved yep. from that issue. And so mm -hmm. Chick Fil A needs to evolve from their homophobia as an institution. And society is evolving uh, entirely. I mean, you look at the numbers of young Republicans, for example. But Chick-fil-A has not. Marriage, We're talking about Chick-fil-A. It's Chick vastly Chick different from where it used to be. Well, I mean, who knows? And you're trying to tell years. this to a gay American. You're trying to school a gay American on the issues about LGBTQ <laughs> progress. Like, that's hilarious. You know, I'm telling you as an American, yes, progress have been, have been made, but not enough. Not when you're complicit and going to institutions like Chick-fil-A. Right. All right. And again, uh, the gay so you community need to should be allowed to enjoy Chick-fil-A if anyone so thing. wants I'm just, to. I'm just interested, Ben. You said you yeah. don't eat at Chick-fil-A. Why? I'm not a huge fast food restaurant eater. 
Um, that is my major problem. Not that I'm on a diet by any means. I, I just simply never really <laughs> pop in there uh, to eat. But that is, that's just my personal thing. Well, whatever the case, and I, and I don't want, I'm just going to throw this out. The Chick-fil-A's in New York City, despite the New Yorker article, I think they sell a chicken sandwich every six seconds. Do they in really? New York City. Yeah. Because wow. complicity is real in this country. People are complicit with systems that are hypocritical to what they say. There will be the same people that will post hashtag Pride Month like the, C the Twitter CEO person and then also shout out Chick-fil-A, which holds views that are anti-Pride Month related. So that's the issue in this country is that we see a lot of hypocrisy and double standards play. And, you know, as someone who's in the community, I'm trying to tell people who are in support of the LGBTQ community that you can't have it both ways. You can't eat a Chick-fil-A sandwich and then also say that you're fighting against views that are homophobic. And also question anti-same-sex marriage as being not homophobic when clearly many people in the LGBTQ mm -hmm. community see it otherwise. So I think well, it's time course. for people to revamp their solidarity. Gotcha. They need to revamp and rethink this June, especially during Pride Month. Okay? Yeah, and if, you, John, and if you're a gay John conservative Phillips, and you want to eat at Chick-fil-A or whatever, John. you're also allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah, you are. And we all know about the hypocrites across both aisles. It's a great conversation, and thanks all of you for your viewpoints. I do appreciate Thank it. Ben you. Kissel, Ernest Owens, John Phillips. A judge has issued a stern warning to actress Angelina Jolie, allow Brad Pitt more time with their children or risk losing custody. Captain Obvious, and Hotels.com rewards me basically everywhere. So why am I stomping grapes with aerobics enthusiasts near this B&B? Because Hotels.com lets me do me. Mmm, foot juice. Hotels.com. You do you and get rewarded. I landed. I saw my leg did not look right. I was just finishing a ride. I felt this awful pain in my chest. I had a PE blood clot in my lung. I was scared. I had a DVT blood clot. Having one really puts you in danger of having another. My doctor and I chose Xarelto. Xarelto to help keep me protected. Xarelto is a latest generation blood thinner that's proven to treat and reduce the risk of DVT or PE blood clots from happening again. In clinical studies, almost 98% of patients on Xarelto did not experience